mission that began decades ago is about to pay off. Push the F-150 to higher levels of performance and capability, but introduce new levels of efficiency by slashing weight. It meant a monumental investment in examining and testing the possibilities of new materials. The conclusion was inarguable. Lightweighting translates into more capability, more efficiency. We've looked at a number of different scenarios, and aluminum was clearly the best material to take significant weight out of the vehicle. Long before we brought the engineers on, designing every component, we had already built prototypes. Nobody knew they were aluminum. As early as 2009, Ford secretly delivered aluminum-bodied F-150 pickups into the field in a blind truck test. It was at testing where we said, yeah, this is the right formula. This is it. The alliance of two metals forged a machine more efficient and more capable than ever before. These two elements are the ideal elements for the truck. The frame, the backbone of the truck is steel with an aluminum cab, aluminum front end, an aluminum box. Research folks said aluminum alloys can work, but we need to step it up. Aluminum is almost never used in its pure form. It's always alloyed with something. That's what gets us the great strength. The formula used for F-150 aluminum is derived from military-grade alloys. These alloys that we're using here are specifically designed for automotive to be very strong, very tough, allow us to form complex shapes we need for the F-150. This is military-grade aluminum, heat-treated and quenched in a way that gives you much stronger properties than a typical alloy. The aluminum is mixed with elements including magnesium and silicon. We're the cooks. We mix up all the ingredients, melt it down, cook it for the right amount of time, cast it. That block is heated back up. It's gonna keep rolling it back and forth. Eventually, that'll keep a big coil of aluminum. For the sheet metal, durability was the top priority. The steel foundation beneath it is also very specialized. There's more high-strength steel here than the outgoing frame. We're bringing in state-of-the-art roll forming. This frame starts as a flat sheet, and we ended up rolling into a box that enabled us to take weight out. The new materials require processes that are also cutting edge. We've developed technologies to mate two metals together. We e-coat all of the parts before they ever come in contact with each other. So the two metals come together and there's two barriers of e-coat. Which seals all the joints so that water can't penetrate. The new techniques make the truck stronger. When you're riveting, you end up with a stiffer truck and a stiffer cab. I mean, by having a continuous joint, we can take a lot of weight out and get great strength and durability. But why Ford? Why now? We've been working on an aluminum-intensive vehicle for over 30 years. It's the right time for customer demand, the right amount of technologies in creating the alloys we need, how to join, how to form, and how to manufacture this vehicle. Taking weight out is the right thing to do. You're going to get improved efficiency. When you need to do the work, the engine, the powertrain, the drivetrain is there to haul and tow. There's no compromises. Next, you'll witness the new F-150 as it's punished by man and machine, trying to find the limit of its strength and durability. 